Hello everyone. Good day, good midday, good afternoon, good morning, whatever. Good evening. Uh, it is a new Zoebi video. So what the, what does that mean? For this week it basically means me making two cute almost like cat art pieces. Um, I made this on stream last Friday. Today is Sunday while I record this. And what I really didn't expect is how much I like these two. I just created these pieces without really a thing in mind. And I was just like, mm, we will see what happens. This is also the stream that I accidentally did an 8 hour stream <laughs> that I didn't plan. It was the first 3 hours of me just studying. I was working on school stuff. I needed to finish a few things here and there. And it did keep me busy. It was actually quite interesting to see how much I could create. Or how much time it actually took me. Uh, doesn't mean I could concentrate me really well, but I tried. <laughs> uh, but that's what it started with. And then later, I just started creating art. So what you see here, um, to the right of me, you see my one of my vintage palettes. And the first orange that I laid down were actually two Roman small colors. Uh, the two were the Cronecridon Gold, number three, 310. And the Cronecridon Burnt Sienna, I believe. These two uh, were ones with um, a new pigment. Oh, you can see someone <laughs> subscribed there. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> I got distracted there. Um, what I wanted to say is, with the Cronecridon Gold, that is actually uh, the, the one from Roman Small, will be uh, the PO48, so the pigment orange number 48 will probably go out of business because it's not getting produced anymore. And I saw that uh, video from another creator. I will link her down below. Uh, and she basically said, oh, try to get yours while you still can. Because they're probably not going to make this uh, hue or this tone anymore. Not with this pigment. So that's what I did. Uh, they're very pretty, both of them. <laughs> and what you see more on this piece, uh, what was also explained in the starting screen that you saw at the beginning is that I used a Gansai Tombi paint, the the ones uh, from Japan, they have a different binder than Western watercolors. I used that as a base here, so most of the, the orange pinks, the uh, yellows are from there. And then what you see on top is the Windsor & Newton paint spray. You can see even on top, it uh, you can see on the yellow side it is almost turning kind of greenish. And then you see on the reddish side it will kind of turn purpley. And I really like that because it's not a true black. It's just a black pigment combined with blue. You can also see it on the palette on the most bottom part of the well. <laughs> I used um, a tape from the Action. Action is a, a dollar store here in the Netherlands. And I was just like um, explaining where I got a little tin from. But I will get to that. <laughs> Oh, and there's the Gansai Tombi making an appearance. Um, yeah, the, the tape is from the action. It's called washi tape, but I have no need for tape that says meow, 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 meow the whole time. <laughs> you know, I used like little parts of it, but I was like, okay, let's give it a second life. Let's make a thing. Um, yeah, let's make it as a watercolor border thing. And I was really trying to figure out if it would work that way. But it did. It did hold it up pretty well. So you will see that in the end, or at least the end of this piece, what that did. <laughs> and I'm actually pretty proud of it. Um, what I really wanted to talk about today is how my week went. Not that particularly a lot of things happened, but I still want to talk about it. Uh, while I continue working on this piece. This week... Uh, was the week that I started working out. <laughs> I found a lot of uh, YouTube videos with African dance. I will also link that down below now I can. Uh, I follow the ones from Kukua fin Fitness and I've really been enjoying them. Especially trying to figure out uh, how to get out of my thoughts and into my body in that way. And just short um, exercises, like 15 minutes of dance and it's something really fun so i highly recommend it it's actually uh yeah made my day every time i did it um so i was really proud i started with that on sunday i believe then on monday i had school university 
or whatever you call it, uh, HBO in Dutch. And I believe it's lower than university. At least, <laughs> it doesn't matter. Bachelor, for the bachelor. Um, I'm in my final year. And yeah, I just had school, went there. <laughs> Called a little bit more of an explanation about what we needed to do. And that's just what I did. Went there, got home. Sorry if I sound a little bit weird. I was trying to sneeze. <laughs> But it didn't really work, so this is what you get. <laughs> and then we had time to work. On Tuesday, uh, there was no school. The teacher was sick, so we didn't have to go there. Uh, we just did something else. Oh, now you can see. Uh, let me talk about the drawing a little bit. <laughs> you can see both layers have dried. The, the, the layer on top is the Winsor Newton paint. Uh, paint's grey. And now I'm just painting or drawing on top with colored pencils. I use a few different brands, but the ones I used the most were the Car Caran d'Ache Luminance. Um, this is a Lyra pencil from Rembrandt. Uh, and I also use the Holbein Pastel uh, uh, pencils. I really think that they really helped. I think of all the pencils that I like, I like them for different reasons. So what I mean with that is, uh, the ones from, how do you say that? The ones from um, Holbein. Are really soft nice to use i believe i was afk here but it doesn't matter <laughs> you can you can look at the drawing for a little bit more and i'm back now um but yeah the winds are new uh, the whole vine are really soft really nice to work on top of it um the current dash are just really strong they also work on top of everything not as soft but you know they are really re re reliable <laughs> there we go um i noticed that it wasn't really dry yet so i went over it with a blow dryer or a specific drying agent thingy. And then I added a little bit more on top. I made two of these drawings and these were both made on the eight hour stream. What I really about, like about them is that when I look back at this, I'm like, oh, this was so cute to create. They're based on two different drawings that I created earlier this week. And I still think that they're really cute and I'm really happy with it. <laughs> these are the Polychromos pencils, this blue one. And this is a Jumbo pencil. Let me check. This is a color giant from Faye Reason, also from Lyra. That's where that one was from. Uh, I also used the, used the white pencil that is the one, I believe, from Polychromos as well. Yeah. And it's really nice to work on top of it with a different pencil. That's the, the main use I had. You can see I add some more details, <laughs> just to make it cute. Uh, you don't have a lot of sense of depth, but I don't mind that. I think it's a very cute piece and it was more to work on than to really make a piece with a lot of depth, Is that if that makes sense. It was more about the characters. But then the rest from the week. Um, on Wednesday, I was going to my internship uh, last week. I didn't go so it was nice to be there again and see what they all were doing this week and to see them all again oh here you can see the tape look at it look how nice the tape peels off Ooh, no scratches no other things it just goes off you can see i drew like one little line and there it goes over it but i will fix that in the end you will see a little photoshop part as well you can see me editing this uh, piece oh fun fact i'm also sending them out as uh, postcards so I send them to the print manufacturer <laughs> and they will be a available as prints when they arrive. So I'll probably keep an update somewhere on social media land. <laughs> oh yeah, this is, uh, I didn't draw them um, after each other. This one is like a few hours later. Excuse me for the light. Um, I film with my phone usually and it has like weird autofocus and I don't really know how to fix that. So it's kind of like, I don't know why I started singing, but <laughs> this was kind of what I did. Um, then I went back with the blue pencil because I rem uh, I reminded myself or I remembered like, hey, I started drawing with this blue pencil on the other one. So might as well start doing that with this one as well. Uh, by this one, I totally forgot I used that orange at the beginning. And I was like, hmm, why doesn't it kind of look the same as the one before? <laughs> And it kind of bothered me when I made this uh, this stage. But it's still the Gansai Tombi paints. Uh, what is fun about those paints is that they kind of behave 
differently. They are a little bit more gooey. But you can see how bright the colors are. I was like thinking of a different or a, diff, uh, a better word on here. I tried to make it a blush, but I was like, nah, it doesn't work. So I took it off. <laughs> uh, trying to make it kind of the same, but also different. Um, like uh, some kind of sunset, but also just all the nice yellow, uh, pink tones. I really thought that this would be a good thing for Valentine's Day. And yeah, you can see uh, now with the blowtorch, or <laughs> it's not even that, the dryer, the fast thing. You can see how the colors change when it dries. And what I really like about it is that you can still see all those textures. And I was checking, okay, is it all dry? No, it was not all dry. I will tell you that, it wasn't all dry. Uh, look at me starting at the wrong side. <laughs> if you're wondering what is the wrong side, as you can see, I'm left-handed. So that means I need to start right so I don't smudge. And still, I like to start at the other side. So that stays difficult. Uh, you can see some parts of the yellow shine through. Those are just parts that didn't dry correctly. Um, if you want to know how fast this is sped up, this is 500% the speed. So it's five times as fast as it would be in real life. I still make these things quite fast, <laughs> but it doesn't mean I am so fast. <laughs> so this still took a long time. This is what I regret. I regret uh, on those clouds. I shouldn't have made all those dark. And here I tried to erase it and then I was like, no, <laughs> I made a mistake. It doesn't look good. I doesn't know. So that was sad. Um, you couldn't see uh, or you could say see at the beginning that it just made a very short or how do you say that? Very... Um, very what? I don't know. A very quick sketch. That's what I wanted to say. <laughs> I just make a very quick doodle. And for this, it was more about color experimentation. So letting the, the color shine through while I make a dark color on top. Here you can also see that that paint well there. The, the ceramic pen. Uh, oh yeah, that's what I wanted to talk about. As you can notice, I talk about all kinds of things. That's why it's called Ramble. <laughs> that's why I'm rambling. Uh, but that paint well there, that's actually not um, for watercolor or anything. It's basically a little dish that is used for... Um, yeah, it's more of a souvenir. I just got it at like the blocker or something. One of those stores. <laughs> and it's like a ceramic pan and it has a little jar that goes on top of it. What says Holland? I think it's quite funny, uh, but it's an ideal uh, little paint jar, especially if you only want to work with one color. Oh, here I was trying to fidget with the brightness and I couldn't get it to work. I was like, mm, too dark, no, too light, too light, too dark, I don't know. <laughs> so I don't know, it's something. Uh, with this one, I try to do more with those um, pencils. So what you see, the, the more Holbein paints or the pastel colors. Um, I did want to kind of make them match, but they also don't really have to match. So the colors are kind of the same, but they're still their own story in their own right. Mm. Oh yeah, the rest of my week. Uh, Wednesday went well, Tuesday was also doing well. Uh, also my internship and Friday was then the 8 hour stream. On Saturday I had a really fun day um, with my partner and we went to the city. And we got some stuff. <laughs> Very broad, I know. It was for Valentine's Day. We had a little food date. And um, I really appreciate it. It was a really, really nice day. Really fun day. Oh, and then uh, when he brought me home, <laughs> we, got an, we got other problems. So we stood at the side, uh, like, by a gas station. <laughs> and then and then we got, then, uh, like, someone came to help us. <laughs> And it was like, oh, because I remember I kind of wish like, oh, I hope we can spend a lot of this day together. But this was not what I intended. So this is another thing like, uh, no, uh, be specific. <laughs> if you do like a little wish or something. <laughs> because otherwise you might have a car troubles and a broken tire or a flat tire is what it was called. Um, so that was my week. Just like this drawing suggests, uh, a lot of happiness, a lot of warm colors coziness but also the time of just feeling close or together or uh, just at home coziness homeliness all those fun things here you can see a little bit of behind the scenes uh, this is what it looks like if i'm editing because um, all the traditional works that i make you need to do something with them 
and I usually just scan them in. I have a Canon scanner. Um, I will link it below which one it is specifically. And I love that one. Scan it. And then I will just edit it and see what works. Uh, here you can see all kinds of things happening. I was working with the colors. I needed to have the print settings. Uh, and I also tried to figure out, hey, how, how big, how small do I need to create this? And how make it flat? How do I get the right angle? <laughs> and what I do, a little sneak peek. Because I didn't make like a nice looking card size. Here you can see me just filling in the blanks on the sides. So you have a nice cohesive image. I try to make the colors as nice as they look in real life as possible. It was a little bit difficult, but it did work out in the end. So I'm really <laughs> happy with that. And then with the other one, I basically do the same. Trying to get the correct angles. Do I have one straight edge? Okay, take that one and just uh, ace the rest. <laughs> like try to figure out how I can uh, make the best out of the things that I have here. I didn't have to work on it a lot. The colors were quite nice and it just made me uh, yeah, work quite nicely. It's a pretty nice progress, I must uh, admit. <laughs> uh, but we're almost at the end. So what I want to say or the, the wisdom that I want to tell you for this week is that go ahead and do the challenge. Yes, that's what I'm going to tell you for this week. Do the challenge if you feel, feel anyway. <laughs> that's also one for me. Just try, do it, um, fail, maybe not fail, maybe succeed. And then be happy with the thing that you accomplished or what you learned from. Um, here's the piece. You can see all the colors and all their detail. Very cute little ones. This is one the brightest star is you. And this one is just chilling out together. <laughs> Have a nice lovely rest of your day. That was a tongue twister. And I hope to see you again next time. Okay, bye bye. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Okay, bye. Bye. <laughs>